everybody. I hope you're having a good day. And we today in our mini messages are going to begin diving into the Ten Commandments in Exodus chapter 20. And it's going to take us a while to go through with this. Go go through this. I, I think we're going to spend several days on verse one alone. And verse one is a very short verse, but there's so much information packed into it, and we need to understand what God was giving them and why He was doing this. It's 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 foundational to how and why we should strive to be obedient to God. And so verse 1 simply says this, Then God gave the people all these instructions. And so that's the introduction to the Ten Commandments. Now, when we think about the Ten Commandments, we often think about Moses up on the top of Mount Sinai, the tablets. But when you really look closely, it looks like there may be something a little different going on. Yes, Moses does go up on the mountain. Yes, Moses does get the tablets. That, that, that happens. But the Ten Commandments apparently were introduced by God to not just Moses, but to all the people. Listen to what he says again in verse 1. Then God gave the people all these instructions. Not he gave Moses these instructions to give the people. God gave the people all these instructions. When I go back to the end of chapter 19, it's, it's Moses and the people at the foot of the mountain. And it literally talks about later that God goes up on the mountain. That takes place um, further over in chapter 18, or excuse me, chapter 20, uh, where in verses 18 through 21, it talks about the people not wanting God to speak directly to them anymore, and that Moses goes up on the mountain. So it's interesting to think that the first time the people heard the Ten Commandments, it wasn't Moses coming down with tablets and saying, here's what God said. It was literally God saying it. And this makes sense because these commandments are addressed to ordinary Israelites, right? The everyday people. It wasn't for the religious elite of the day. It wasn't for just Aaron and Moses and some of the elders of Israel. It was for all of them. And they are expressed in very simple terms, right? I mean, the the Ten Commandments are very, very easy for us to understand. And there's a reason God did that. He put those in front of us for us to understand in a very simple way because it's addressed to everybody. You don't have to be a theological scholar. You don't have to have a full understanding of the Trinity or the end times to understand the Ten Commandments and what is being said and what they're trying to get across to you. It's very simple. And like I said, after this, the people would ask that God not speak directly with them, but that Moses be the intermediary because it is terrifying to them to hear from God. So in thinking about these commandments, always remember that Israel first heard these commandments spoken by God from heaven in an audible voice. And this made an incredibly strong authoritative impression on the people that this was the word of the Lord. We'll pick up some more. Talk some more about verse 1 tomorrow.